Hi everyone, welcome to our 8th video in our XK7 Nihilus Nineflow series. This is a part 1 of a 2 part series in our quiz app. So it's, in this video, we're going today we're just going to be um, creating the UI and we are also going to be um, adding on the outlets and the actions. That's what all we're going to do for today. And in the next video, we are going to um, do all the code. So to get started, let's create a new Excel project in a single view application. I'm going to call it quiz tutorial. Just call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it for, just for tutorial purpose, purposes. Let's go to main storyboard and um, I will drag on a label right here. So it's going to say quiz, nice and big, nice and wide. And we will center align it and we will make the text much bigger. Now I will drag on another label, that's the question. And I'm just going to make it wide, not long. And then now we will drag on four buttons. Or you can just drag on one for now. And we will duplicate it four times. And we're going to set the background. We're going to actually give it a background of red. And we're going to duplicate it a few times. that much and then we will drag on um, another button that says next question and then a label that's going to say if you're correct or incorrect then center align that and now we will um, link up the outlets and at the end of this video I'm going to show you a demo of what the app will actually look like we're going to create an outlet for the label that's called question and then we will create four outlets for these buttons so this one's going to be called answer one this one's going to be called answer two. This one will be called answer three. And this one will be answer four. We will also have an outlet for this label. It's going to be called correct or incorrect. And we are also going to have one for the um, button because we want to hide it when we need to. After you press this button and you get a new question, you want to hide it because um, you don't want to get, keep on getting new questions every single time. So we're going to call this next question. And then we will create the actions. We will have one for this one. It's going to be called answer one pressed. And then, oh. Okay, don't give me a single bar here. So we're going to select this. And get rid of answer one pressed because it's going to give a single bar as you saw in the last video. Or in two videos ago. We're going to create an action. And be sure to select this to be action. And I'm going to call it answer one press. We're going to do the same for every single one of these.
same for this one. And then we will call this answer three press. And we're just gonna make some space right here. And then answer four press. Remember this is an action. And we will make space for every single one of these. <coughs> this project isn't actually that hard. It just involves a lot of repetition. That's why it takes up a lot of your time. When I went to, um, before I made this tutorial, it took me about like 30 minutes to make this app because um, you have to copy and paste and you have to actually go through all the code like really quickly and stuff like that. Let's close the assistant editor and um, we will, I'm just going to put in the code for the, um, I have to create another variable called question number. Number. And I'm going to set it equal to int, an empty int. And then in video load, we're going to say question number equals arc for random underscore uniform. And then parentheses 4 or 5. And it will give you an error right here that says cannot assign value of u and 32 to type it. To fix this, it's really simple. Let's um, cut this and then int parentheses and then that. And then that will work. And okay, we're getting an internal error. This actually happens a lot with um, Xcode 7. I don't really know why because Xcode 7 sort of has a bug. But don't worry about it right now. We are also going to create a switch statement that says switch question number and um, we're going to create the default and the break and then case zero break and this will actually have um, up to five questions. Question number will either be will be a random number between zero and four inclusive. So we're gonna copy this four more times, and then this will be one, this will be two, this will be three, and this will be four. And we're gonna leave off of the coding on this video, but I also I also promised you to show the de demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Iowa simulator, which should be right here, as you see. And then um, the app is going to be called Quiz. And um, so who's the first president of the United States? Let's say, say Mitt Romney, and it says incorrect. And you can actually change your answer, and George Washington is correct. And sometimes it gives you the same question, because it chooses, always chooses a random number. And 9 plus 10 equals 21, then even. <laughs> That's a joke online. But if you say none of the above, you are correct. If you say 21, you are incorrect. If you say 11, you are incorrect. And if you say 22, you are incorrect. But I'm just going to say none of the above. <clears throat> I'm going to say Romney because I want to. And then give that question again. And then boom. And he ate about 7. Oh, they 14. Because it is. <coughs> Barack Obama. No, he's not. <laughs> um, 21 times 11. If you can calculate that, tell me the answer in the comment. Just, I'm just kidding. You don't have to. But I'm just saying for fun. If you want, if you want to know 21 times 11, I'm not actually sure what the answer is right now because I can't calculate it in a video. So I'm gonna guess. <laughs> no. <clears throat> okay, so this is the end of the first video in our second um, two-part series in our quiz app. So guys, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you see it in my second part, which we are going to do the rest of the coding right here. So, bye-bye!